72. I've heard athletes say, Brendan, actually, that when you're running slower, you've got more time to think about the pain. And that's not a good thing to think about. And I think Marty Vainio has decided that he's going to push now. Reminiscent of the Olympic Games when he took the pace on from halfway and then started stretching. And Kova remembers that. He, rem he remembers it bitterly because he feels that uh, that race he almost lost a few times. He managed to hang on there and eventually beat Vainio. But I know that he remembers how hard it was. But these two Italians, Antibo and Stefano May, have given Alberto Cova a new lease of life because there's no point in being the world champion and the European champion and the Olympic champion if you're not the best in Italy. And a big cheer going up as Christoph Hurler moves around. He's only in about 10th at the moment. That was the banner that you saw flying. He's the, uh, the West German with the broad red band on his chest. He wears 1007. He's 30 years of age now. We've seen him run some superb cross-country runs and 10,000 metres. Eighth in the World Championships, fifth in the Olympic Games at 10,000 metres, a finalist in the 1975 European 5,000 metres championship, 13th last time out in the Europeans, and uh, a very big favourite. He's running 12th at the moment. The big man there is all of six feet, running 12th at the moment, and he would be uh, very popular indeed if he could uh, have a good run here tonight. Steve Harris uh, having a bit of a rough ride there, back in 14th place. He's sort of moving up and down the field in the box as they come up outside. He, he keeps getting trapped on the curb and having to go back down inside the file. Carl Thackeray still about 16, 17th. Uh, but there's only about 20 metres co covering the lot. Coming round with 11 laps to go. The 5,000 metre time, 14, 13.75. Modest to say the least. And Thibaut leads. Vainio second, Cova third, Mai four, Bins five, Castro six, Hartman seven. Kunza is ninth, Tracy ten. Hurler back in twelfth, just behind Canario. And they're beginning to open up, and it's the uh, little Italian who was fourth in the Olympic Games who really put in the hard work that went on the uh, fourth lap and fifth laps, they went to 65 seconds. The anti-boy was that it was leading then, I think, and he's doing it again now. Seems to be that he obviously knows what he wants to do. He wants to keep the pace fast, but he seems to have a couple of laps doing this, and then his concentration maybe goes a little, uh, and then the pace slows. He, he's wasting his time doing that. The only way to do it is to... Con apply the pressure till the group whittles down to less than the number of people he's got around him now but he's beginning to do that and the bad news is back in back down the field steve harris and carl thagri are beginning to struggle every time the pace picks up they drop to the back of the pack and carl thagri particularly is having a is having a bad run tonight well it has picked up it was 65 seconds the last lap Still on schedule for something around 28 minutes, but of course, if they go on piling on the pace now, they'll bring it back well inside. Antibo leading, Vaino second, Cova third, Stefano May four. Five is Stevie Bins. Sixth place, uh, Castro, Dionisio Castro. And Kunz has dropped out of the race. I didn't see him go, but he's obviously got a problem. Whether he bumped the curb or whether he got caught by some of the other athletes as they bunched, I'm not sure. But uh, Kunza who uh, was certainly a man likely to get a medal. That's one danger removed, but how unfortunate for him. Antibo leading. Vainio second. Alberto Cova, the champion in third place. Fourth is Mai. Fifth is Bins. Sixth is Castro. Seventh, John Tracy. In eighth place, Priano of France. Uh, ninth, moving up very fast, is Hartman, now of Austria. And tenth is Steve Harris, who's going through the field too. He's moving up into eighth place. Uh, Carl Thackeray in space there, just going through the shot. Uh, lost contact with the leading group, but trying to work his way back. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. In that leading group. Well, the best place to be in this race is in the middle, because when the pace speeds up, and they run 65 seconds, and then they slow down and run 68 seconds. It's much easier if you stay away from the pace and run even pace because it takes much less out of you running even pace. And Antibo is not committing himself fully, and nor did Vainio when he went to the front. And between them, they both sense 
what they should be doing, but neither of them is doing it perfectly, and neither of them is worrying Alberto Cova and his mate from Italy on the inside, Stefano May. Steve Binns looks comfortable in this company, and I would imagine Steve will even be considering doing something himself, because they come up the straight here, and they see the eight laps to go, Marga. Quite a few of them looking comfortable, and there are many dangers around, but they slow again, and Vainio goes to the front. And when they slow like that, all the boxing and pushing goes on, and it's very dangerous, and Stevie Bins decides he's had enough of that, and he's decided to go to the front. And that's a sensible place to do it, because he didn't go early like he did in Edinburgh, and he's got hopefully recovered enough from Edinburgh to test these boys. And as soon as that happens, the pace, the, the field lengthens out, and you can see who's struggling, you can see who isn't. Carl Thacker on the outside, by the way, and it uh, emphasizes the point you've made by running at even pace, has got back in the race as they slowed. He's lost contact with the leading group, but he's got back with them. Ben's leading, Vainio's in second place, Kova third, Ericsson of Sweden made a very swift move through, which actually caused the bumping. He moved through and then uh, chopped his stride, moved across the leader, uh, and I think tried to slow it down slightly. They're coming around with just over seven to go. Bins leading for Great Britain, Vainio Finland second, Ericsson Sweden third, Kova Italy four, My Italy five, Prionor, France in sixth place, Tracy Ireland seven, Hartmann Austria eight. Antibo of Italy in ninth place, Canario is tenth for Portugal, and Castro of Portugal, followed by Steve Harris of Great Britain, Hurler of West Germany, and once again, Carl Thackeray is losing touch with that leading group. The last man in that group is Uvitsi of Czechoslovakia. Just outside the picture, Carl Thackeray, having got himself back uh, with those 15, 16 leaders, now finds himself out of touch again. Well, Stevie Binge, you could say, is in the safe place there, and uh, Steve hasn't got a great finish, so it's up to him to do the work. Brendan made the point that uh, the race hadn't been very quick in the early stages, so he's not really uh, been grafting too hard, but for him, racing is about graft. That's how it has to be for Steve Binns, and I think he's come to terms with that since Edinburgh because he got such a thrill out of running his own style that he's quite happy in this position. And the important thing for Steve Binns tonight is to maintain his concentration and not look around because that group is big and they'll stay big until he, until three or four laps from, from the end. And there's six laps to go and they really haven't sorted the other the sprinters out. So there's going to be an almighty rush and Vainio in second place hasn't really shown the commitment that he did in Los Angeles. Another big name in trouble, he was there a minute ago, but he's now in real trouble. Canario, another possible medalist, is uh, just jogging around the track and they're catching him. He was in contention just over a lap ago. Man, who was ninth in the Olympic Games, but suddenly found himself in trouble and moved out. <laughs> Looks back to see uh, the two young uh, Castro boys, the Castro twins, are in that pack. The Castros. 22 years old. Dionisio, if you want to sort him out, is 618. And Domingos is 619. But they're certainly having a great run tonight. Their best times, 28-12 and 28-11. So they'll be should be inside that as the race picks up. Steve Binns has uh, gone through the last two laps in 66-67. Five laps to go. 12 athletes in, and Vainio takes it on again now, and that was a very positive spurt. And suddenly they string out. Harris is at the back of that leading group. The tall Finn in front, Kova the champion in second place, Stefano May stalking Kova. Ericsson just chopping his stride to get out of May's stride pattern, he's in fourth place. Fifth is Antibo of Italy, sixth is Castro of Portugal. Seventh place, Prionor of France, and in eighth place, John Tracy of Ireland. And then there's a gap to another of the Castro boys. And Steve Harris is uh, dropping back pretty rapidly. And Steve Binns is going back to having led. He was taken uh, really by surprise. The difficult stage of the race when he'd been in front. When Baino hit the front 